And now we're moving on to a simple but critical step in putting together our Nano Lagoon reef tank and that is addition of the digital thermometer. Now we've got the 10 gallon tank, have the background painted, put in the sand bed and the reef structure as described in previous videos. Now we've taken this simple three dollar digital thermometer which we bought at Walmart and we're putting it on the uh, side panel of the tank. This is uh, this would be the left side as you're looking at the front of the tank. You can see the blue background there and we have peeled off the tape and stuck that thermometer onto the back of the aquarium. Now, important point, we have put the very top of that thermometer where my finger is pointing exactly three-eighths of an inch below this black plastic rim. I'll repeat what I said. We put the top of the digital thermometer three-eighths of an inch below the black plastic rim. And that's important because we're going to use that to tell us where the water line should be when we add our salt water to this tank. We're always going to want our water line, that is the top of the water, to be exactly even with the top of that thermometer. And here's a tip. If you do that, you don't have to worry about salinity or specific gravity or those kinds of things getting out of whack. What will happen is that over time your uh, seawater in the reef tank will evaporate and of course the salt stays behind and fresh water evaporates, it vaporizes, and the water level will go down a little bit. And you replace that with what's called makeup water and makeup water is just for our purposes tap water. We don't add seawater every time because then the tank will get saltier and saltier. But we'll get into that more later but for now we have taken an important but simple step, simple but important, that is to put on the digital stick on thermometer and to make sure the top of the thermometer is three-eighths of an inch from the plastic rim of our 10 gallon Nano Lagoon.